once you have created your model, whatever it may be, um, you may want to apply some textures to it. Okay, so we can do this using the bucket command. All right, and we can apply colors or textures. Okay, so I might want some roofing. All right, and you can see it applies everything as a tile. Okay, now there is quite a wide range of textures available for you already in SketchUp. However, you may want your own, okay? So you can add your own. So if you go to Google and find a high quality texture image, it's always really good to search like marble texture, plastic texture, and make sure you're looking for something that's a bit larger in size, so it's high quality, okay? So maybe like 4 MP. All right, and I'm just going to um, come to brick and cladding, all right? And I might choose brick here, but I might then want paint on this wall. So what I've done is I've got a JPEG here, okay, that I have downloaded of a cracked paint texture. And what I can do is I can click and I drag it straight into my windows, my material samples, okay? And it comes up with name and then the width and the height. I tend to leave the width and the height the same and I'm gonna call it Cracked Paint. And I'm gonna click OK. And you can see that this texture has appeared here. So I can select it and then I can paint bucket straight onto my shape. You can see though that the texture is very tiled, okay? SketchUp automatically does that. We can, however, edit that. So once you've applied your texture, if it's not appearing exactly the way you want it to, what you can do you can right click on the texture and then where it says texture, you can then go position and these little different colored circles appear basically. Green allows us to rotate the texture and increase the scale. Okay, so we could have it horizontal and we could just have one really big one. If you click and drag on the texture, you can also move it. Okay. So it's the size that you want it to be. You can also skew the texture on different angles using the blue circle. And you can do it um, vertically and horizontally with the yellow circle. Okay, the red allows you to click and drag your texture around. So you can manipulate your texture in all different ways. When you're happy with the way it looks, you simply click off the texture to finish. And you can see that it has applied just to one side. Okay, so you can add as many JPEG textures as you want and you can manipulate them as well with their positioning and how they tile. So remembering in order to get into how to manipulate our texture, we right click on the texture and we say texture and we choose position. If you have already edited the position of the texture and you want it to go back to normal, you can say reset position and it goes back to the original. Alrighty, thanks guys.